Sam finds himself leaping from life to life, striving to put right what once went wrong, and hoping that each leap will be the leap home. Hello. Hello again, everybody, and welcome once again to the magical uh, horror-filled world. Oh, I keep doing the whole horror intro thing. I'm Ash Price. I'm Des O'Gorman. Welcome to Ash and Des Remember. See, uh, that, I'm going to have to do that from now on. Just keep it short, sharp, sweet, perfect. And like a knife made out of cheese. It's not sweet. Actually, I, actually, uh, Ash, uh, yeah, I was, I was going to uh, try and lead into the episode, so I'll just say something. Swiss ready. cheese. Like a knife made out of Swiss cheese. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, he said I did that. So, yeah. um, this recent, is it. recently, yeah. Um, and uh, I'm not entirely sure when this episode's going to go out in comparison to the other one, but we did mention in another episode we, that we, did. we were recording the day after yeah. we heard about the loss of Dean Stockwell. Yeah. And we, we thought this was going to be a very bittersweet episode, but we wanted to talk about a show that we both loved uh, that that featured Dean... Uh, Dean Stockwell. Thank you, Dean Stockwell, in one of his most iconic roles as Al... Calavici. Nice. Well done. Al, Al Calavici, Calavici in the... I think it's a hugely popular show, Quantum Leap. Quantum Leap. Ash, um, do you remember Quantum Leap? Oh boy, do I remember Quantum Leap. See what he did there? Um, Good. So okay. Quantum Leap, again, I'm sure you all know what it is. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Sam Beckett um, stepped into the quantum... Uh, theorising that one could time travel within their own lifetime. Sa Dr. Sam Beckett stepped into the Quantum Leap accelerator and vanished. Leaping from life no, to life. No, you skipped oh, a bit. Finding himself... Uh, finding himself... Yeah, hang on. Uh, uh, finding uh, himself... Stepped into the quantum leap accelerator and vanished. He woke up to find, find himself, himself in another in body, body, facing a mirror image that, that wasn't was his, his own. own, and driven by an unknown force to change history, history for the better. better. His only companion in this adventure is Al. Al. Uh, Al. Uh, 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 as Al a, a friend from his own no time, time, who only appears in the form of a hologram that, that only Sam can see and hear. Here. And so f Sam finds himself leaping, leaping from, from life to life, life striving to put right what once went wrong and I'm hoping, hoping that each leap will be the leap home do, 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 depending on which do, season do, you're watching do, do. I don't um, care what anybody says that is the quantum leap thing do, 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 do. so yeah quantum leap um, is, is it was set in 1999 wasn't it I'm sure I'm sure that it was 1999 I don't think it was that late I always thought it was oh wait no the year in the show yeah, the, year, yeah, the, the year in the show was 1999 yeah um, so yeah Dr. Sam Beckett creates time travel yeah which allows you to travel within your own lifetime mm -hmm. and he steps into this leap accelerator i think it's because funding was funding before, was cutting short if and they didn't prove it worked yeah and he disappears into time yeah. and um he kind of has a bit of swiss trees memory mm -hmm. and he leaps from body to body now it's a little unclear mm -hmm. it's a little unclear in the series mm -hmm. whether or not he is physically leaping into the per place of the person who was there and there was just a hologram of them around him, or um, if he is simply swapping minds with them, because the, both of those scenarios are are put forward. See that that's a tough one because they always say that the person that Sam has leapt into is in the waiting room. Yes, and in one of the episodes, Sam leaps into the body of a criminal, and that criminal breaks out of the way and, and goes rogue. In which Al has to track him down yes. and get him back there before Sam can complete uh, his yeah. mission. The show. So there are yeah. suggestions that he's physically swapping places with yeah. them, and it's just a hologram around them, which explains mm -hmm. episodes where he leaps into someone who doesn't have any legs, yeah. and he gets up and he just runs Once. at one point. Yeah. But there are also episodes where it is. Um, kind of suggested as well that it's simply the minds that are swapping place. Yeah. Things like where he leaps into the chimpanzee. Yeah. Because obviously you couldn't have those types of body shape swapping because it just wouldn't work. Yeah. Um, and there are other episodes as well um, where he where he basically it is very heavily suggested. Even I think outright stated that the minds are essentially swapping yeah. places. It's very very inconsistent exactly what is happening there. It is, but you know what? Doesn't matter. No. This show is, and once again, it's a product of the 90s, but it is the. 80s. 
Oh god, it was the eighties, wasn't it? I it apologize. The 80s. It yeah. ran until the early nineties. It ran. It, it did. In like this show is is what I consider one of those type of shows that is fundamentally brilliant because it shows you how being good and striving to do something important and and decent and kind is a brilliant thing. The premise of the show is fantastic. 1989, by the way. Wow, 1989. Till 93. 90, four seasons. No, it ran for five, if I recall correctly. Um, That's right, I think it did, Because yeah. I, there was this... Like, it wasn't uncommon mm -hmm. for... Yeah, five seasons. It wasn't uncommon for, like... Oh, yeah. So there'd be multiple seasons a year That's sometimes. Right, like, you'd only yeah. have, like, a few weeks gap and then... Yeah. Um, but, yeah, Quantum Leap... Quantum Leap is, is, is amazing. So, I think, for me, early Quantum Leap is, the is strong. Oh, God, yeah. It goes a bit strange later on. Um, they do have weird they do, episodes. They do, they do have very weird episodes. Yeah. I really liked the arc with the evil Leapers. Um, I wasn't a fan of that. I, I thought it. the premise of the show was strong enough that you didn't need evil leapers. It was. You didn't need them. I enjoyed it. Okay. Um, I thought it was quite good fun. I liked... Because the thing is, there wasn't a lot of continuity between episodes. Well, not really, because every episode is... You know, self-contained. Self-contained. Which, which was very much of the time. It was. Episodic, yeah. episodic was very much how it was. But there wasn't a lot of continuity between it. And so I liked the fact that you had that continuity. Yeah. And I liked the fact that... There were times where, like later in the show, he would leap into people he'd leapt into before. That's like, right. um, is it look at Jimmy? Jimmy, Jimmy, the the guy with Down syndrome. Yeah. Um, Jimmy became a fan favorite, so there was yes. a reason why they returned. And, and they returned to him. Yeah. Um, and, and just, and, and I think it went to show that by Sam leaping into Jimmy and changing his life, doesn't always mean that everything is happily ever after. Well, Things... basically, what happened with that is that was part of the evil leapers arc. Um, and basically the evil Leaper had leapt into someone associated with, with Jimmy and tried to mess up the timeline. Oh, right. See, that I did not know. Yeah. Ah. Um, so that's that's why that came back. Yeah. Um, that storyline. Uh, so there was a few episodes like that. And there was... So the, pr the thing was with Quantum Leap is... And this was an issue with a lot of shows and still is to this day with a lot of shows. Is yeah. a, a lot of shows kind of get to the end of their season mm -hmm. before they learn if they've got a new season or not. That's right. Yeah. Um, and a lot of American shows especially kind of just assume they're going to get another season and so start ending on cliffhangers. I And, oh, and God, this annoys me. That. And they did this with Quantum Leap. The last episode, the finale episode, which was a really good episode in and of itself, it is, oh. was supposed to be the first of a two-part of that follows into the yeah. next season and kind of shakes up the show. Um, <sighs> instead, they had to retool it. And it kind of worked because they had some... A lot of callbacks to earlier episodes, yeah. so it did feel a bit like a finale. It did, but... Um, but it just, it ends, it just ends with that. Oh, dog. Sam Beckett never returned home. I... You don't even get a scene, you just get a That card. broke me. Yeah. I remember watching that episode, and we're, we're, let, let's get the, the big elephant out of the room. Scott Bakula as Dr. Sam Beckett. Oh, yes. The fact that he has to carry this episode, because it's more or less him being all these different people and all these yeah. different characters, and the show kind of resets every time that he leaps into a body because he, he has to figure out who he is, what he has to do. Scott Bakula is phenomenal. They can't find him. They, they can't can find him. They usually yeah. can find him quite easily, and they can't find him, and he's in this... Sort of nether wild. Yeah, um, which is like a coal mine thing, and he's in a bar. bar and he, for the and he first, is him. He yeah, is him. The first time in like four or five, four, four years, for the first time, he has his own reflection. And yeah. it's it's powerful because he sees how old he's gotten. He's starting to grey in the hair. Yeah. It's powerful Strange. stuff. And then he, he gets, I always remember this, he gets the wallet and opens it up. And it's at a time period where they don't have Velcro. So he opens up the Velcro and Sam just goes, hey, what's that? And Sam goes, it's Vel it's a new kind of zipper. And it's, it's those yeah. little things. And yeah. I, I, I was not prepared for it. And I remember watching that episode and then Al gets back with his wife because yeah. Sam was able to go back Change and tell him. her to wait because Al's in a concentration. He's, 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 he's a, been in a POW He's camp. a POW, that's right. And, the then, and then then that, that black... With that white text on a black background, Dr. Dr. Sam, Sam Beckett never, never returned, returned home. home, broke me. Because it's so, Sam has left for so long, he's put right so many things, and he does say in the show, do I not get what I want? Yeah. Do I not get my reward? It wasn't, it wasn't bittersweet. It was sad. It, it was, was so sad. Because and I kind of get why they did, because they couldn't go and refilm stuff, and they couldn't yeah. actually make stuff. 
I'm to fit. Do you know what else they couldn't do? Spell check. Oh, they spell. They Beckett spelled one, Beckett they? with one T. Yes. It was always spelled Dr. Sam Beckett with two, two T's. T's. They couldn't even spell check the character's name. Yeah. It's such a shame. And it never really got a conclusion in novels either. There were some novels. There's There was always the, I think, hope that something would come back. And I think Donald Belisario had hopes and plans for making yeah. like a special, which will now do, never come to fruition. I don't know if you know this, Ash. Uh, do you know that the original ending is online? Yes. Where yeah, there was a Al is ending. talking to his wife, saying that Sam is still out there. And I've got to go and find him. And he goes to find Sam. Yeah. Wouldn't that have been brilliant to end it like that? Yeah, that I'm going to go and get him back. That leaves it open for the audience to interpret that Al yeah. could get Sam home. They yeah. could have continued on with like a comic book series or something. Yeah. But no, they had to put that definitive downer ending, ending yeah. in there. And, and it's a shame. It's a shame. It's because the show is... Phenomenal. There was some really good stuff in it. They addressed a lot of really good social issues um, about gender inequality, about racial inequality. inequality. Um, I'm not sure if they covered LGBT issues. I think, I think they, they did. did. I think they did. Um, they covered issues of interracial relationships. They, they covered, covered war. Teen pregnancy. They yeah. covered war. All that type of stuff. There's that, there's that one episode where Sam leaps into his younger self and um, he tells his sister all these things about the future and she doesn't believe him and so to convince him convince her he plays Imagine by John Lennon yeah. and his sister starts crying and he says why are you crying she says you're telling the truth because I've never heard that song before yeah. and I'm going to be honest it, the episode version isn't amazing but Scott Bakula recorded a version of Imagine yeah. I'm going to be honest it's better than Lennon's better than wow. Lennon's version um, I've got to listen to this now. I didn't know that. It's really, really good. It's, um, it's when the show... He did all the singing in all the yeah, episodes. Yeah, he did. He, Sam, this is what I'm saying. Scott Bakula was so incredible that not only did he have to play this character, he learned how to fight, he learned how to sing, he learned how to Ride. dance, he learned how to write. He learned to do all these things because he wanted the show. He believed in the show. Do you remember the, the saga? Again, it was about three or four episode series uh, in the midway point. Do you remember? It was where... Al and Sam temporarily switch Which bodies, yeah. So it starts out where Sam... Where Al leaps into a... Um, it's where... Uh, does, I think, does he leap into Al? No, no, no. I think the, the episode so before le- that is Sam is somebody... Who is who, defending Al or something like that. Because Al is accused of a crime that he didn't commit. That's right. In the past. And Sam is there. And there's this wonderful bit where he kind of... He's screwing things up. And Al is there going um, really upset and angry. Like, oh, there's, you know, 80% chance I'm going to die. 82, 84, 86, 87, 88, 90. And he gets to 99. And the camera pans around. And he gets to 99. And he said, when it says 100, yeah. suddenly the camera's panned around. And it's not Dean Stockwell. It's... Um, uh, it's the chap who was he was in the Planet of the Apes really really big actor he was also in the Peter Cushing Doctor Who uh, I think no he wasn't um, but, but keep going yeah keep going. Anyway, and there's another actor yeah and there's another actor Roddy McDowell that's it Roddy McDowell Roddy McDowell Roddy McDowell um, especially the camera turns around and Roddy McDowell is there as the new version of whatever you know the character who communicates with Sam yeah just it goes Al's going 88 98 99 100 Oh, I'm afraid Mr. Calavici is going to die. Um, and Sam... I don't remember that. Sam is the only one who remembers. Um, so Sam has to fight to put this right. Um, oh, and wow. then it, And then at the end of that, I think Sam leaps into Al in a car. And then for some reason they switch places and Al is now leaping and Sam is yeah, back. That, that Project that Quantum Loop. Yeah. And comes out of it with his memories finally intact and he remembers... I was married. Yes. My wife, they I hid this from that. me to, so I didn't get upset. Yeah. And it's a really incredible, like, three, four episode yeah. little I remember. Little I remember that, uh, I remember characters like Jimmy. I remember that there was a big two or three uh, story arc one where uh, Sam leaps into Lee Harvey Oswald. And he doesn't have his... Yeah, he, he, yeah, he, he have starts his to lose himself and starts yeah. to become Lee Harvey Oswald. Yeah. And then we later find... Out, no, you know what? I'm not even going to spoil it no. for you. Not going to spoil it. This show yeah. is... It deserves a lot more attention, I guess. And now... And they do a lot of genre stuff as well. They do, yeah. Like, the horror episodes of Quantum Leap mm-hmm. are brilliant. This isn't just um, a show where it's just the same thing. Sam leaps into a body, does something right, leaps on... 
it, it spans all types of genres. Sometimes it could be a musical episode. Sometimes yeah. it could be like a western style episode. Sometimes it's, it's a, a comedy. There's a detective noir episode where he's oh, like on a train. yes, with Claudia Christian in, yes. in it. Um, and, and there's an episode where he has to protect Brooke Shields. Yeah, there's an episode where he leaps into Elvis. That's right. And he meets a young Michael Jackson. There's yeah. an episode where he leaps into... There's a great episode where he leaps into this this cowboy, like this rancher. There's this other character called Buddy. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you guess his name, Buddy, but there's this character, this other character who's playing, strumming his guitar. It's just a background character character throughout it and, and it, Sam goes through it all thinking he's doing one thing and he gets to the end of the episode and he's like why haven't I left and he turns to his and looks at this kid who's strumming this song and he starts the kid singing this song Piggy Sweet Piggy Sweet and Sam goes uh buddy what about Peggy Sue and leaps <laughs> yeah it's it's a it's a phenomenal brilliant amazing show it's mm. incredibly dated now because obviously yeah. 89 the effects yeah. aren't going to be there but if you go into the show expecting visual effects you're going into them well, with the wrong mindset so many great episodes like he, he leaps into Dr. Ruth at one point Dr. Um, Ruth. Dr. Ruth the sex and relationship psychologist <gasps> oh yeah he that one Dr. I did Ruth. not know um, mm. and there's my favourite episode is, um, I think it's called A Picture of Troyan or A Portrait of Troyan, and it's a horror story, it's a ghost story. Uh -huh. um, and basically the episode ends basically proving that ghosts exist in the Quantum Leap universe. <laughs> um, and it's and Sam's just like, obviously science man, he's like, what? Yeah. Um, but it's it's so good. It's a really, it's a phenomenally good show. And I, I think yeah. fans have kept it alive for so long and no matter they, where Scott Bakula or, or Dean Stockman went they always were known Stop. well, Stockman, well yeah. there, there was that great episode of Enterprise where um, Captain Archer played by Scott, Scott Bakula, Bakula lands on this kind of prison planet and he comes to spar with the warden there and the warden's played by Dean Stockwell and oh. it's great just little back and forth between them yeah um, but yeah the series was phenomenal it and really was I, I don't usually like reboots with new cast and crew but you know what? I, Quantum Leap, I, I feel could work. You know what I would love to see is I would love to you could, see you could you could have a continuation of it, a yeah. soft reboot. You could have a, you could easily have a soft going, reboot. Someone, someone going up like Al's daughter going yeah. off to find Sam, Sam. Or something. and then somebody finds Sam, and then they bring Sam home, but somebody takes over for him. Yeah. To go out there and so I think so, about if yeah, if they do it now they could easily because obviously this show was set in the ninety uh, set in the eighties yeah. early nineties so uh, they went back to like thirties forties fifties because you, you can only leap within your own life within your own life. except life. for a special two part episode where he leaps along his family Fathers, line yeah. to the civil war yeah which which usually is a sign of a show where ratings are kind of struggling I think by then they were kind of yeah, um, but, but that doesn't again doesn't detract from this show in any way shape or form and they could yeah. easily do like you said a soft reboot yeah. but you have to you would have to keep the 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 integrity of the show which is yeah. somebody going out there putting right what, what once, once went wrong and you could easily do that with things that are are prevalent now yeah LGBTQ right right and I yeah, I, yeah, yeah. You you absolutely could. That that kind of brings us on to a, a show I feel was similar in some regards. This idea it was, of yeah. people going from different place to place, place to place, trying but, to get back home. Yeah, sliders, 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 sliders. That was creepy. That was, yeah, <laughs> um, but Slid sliders was another one of those type of shows. It was a few years later. Yeah, uh, mid nineties. Um, it starred. Um, Oh, God. I think it was Terry O'Quinn? Something Quinn. No, something... I don't know where it started. Um, but it, it, it had... Um, uh, it had the chap who was in the Indiana chap. Jones. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, we need to Google who these... Yeah, these, bring, these bring the are. stuff up, and I'll keep waffling and about it, how Slater's is... I said the best way to describe Sliders now is it's like the Wish version of Quantum Leap. <laughs> I Google Sliders and the first thing that comes Slippers. up... Slippers! <laughs> Flip-flops! Flip -flops. <laughs> Sliders TV show. Yeah, there it, we go. Um, so it, it, it had it, Jerry O'Connell. Jerry O'Connell, that's it. Yeah. Clevin Derricks who played and Rembrandt. John Rhys Davies, John that's Davis, it. Sabrina John Rhys Davies is the guy from Any Other Jones that Ash mentioned, but he's yeah. also famous um, for playing Professor Arturo Maximilian Arturo no oh he was um, Gimli in there the we go um, yes he was Maximilian Arturo in this show um, um, so I did not know this it was it was executive produced by John Landis amongst other people wow um, but yeah basically 
they leap from reality to reality mm. tr- and just try no, to... No, 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 not alter- not reality, alternate dimensions. Alternate dimensions. So basically it's different parallel universes. Different, different, yeah. Parallel um, universes where the yeah. ca- where Jerry, uh, Jerry O'Connor's character who was called... Quinn Mallory. Thank you. Uh, develops technology to leap... Slide. No, slide. Slide. slide, 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 not leap. No, he's not quite a leap. No, he's, he's sliding. You slide and leap. Slide and leap. Like Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, slide, leap, slide, um, leap. So they slide from parallel universe to parallel. But the universe. episode, the pilot episode, is brilliant it's because really he meets an alternate version of himself who gives him what he needs to complete this technology, but also uh, tells him that his alternate version found paradise and mm. left it. And now he's trying to, to get, get there. back there and gives him a very specific warning. Can you remember what the warning was? I cannot, no. He warned him, you cannot... You, Let the timer count down? You have to wait 85 minutes before you can leap again to get back home. Because if you leap before that, it erases the home uh, coordinates and you will be lost in parallel universes forever, which was the what premise of the show. Um, and it's, it is a really good show. Mm-hmm. Um, it... Unfortunately, it very, very, very quickly went downhill. The first two series seasons are really, really good. Some really great ideas there. Yeah. Um, really, really good shows. Just, um, just remind but, everybody, Ash, um, what production company helped make Sliders? Um, Can you remember? Because it, it, once you figure out who made it, um, uh, you'd be able to figure out who, uh, why it went downhill so very quickly. Can you remember who it was? Um, NBC. No, 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 just above that. Sinclair. The original network was Fox. Fox, oh, and then it went to the Sci-Fi Channel. Yeah, it um, went with Fox. Fox has no friggin' idea. What no, it no, no, to no, do no, no. That. The first three seasons were were with Fox, and they were the best seasons. No, first two seasons, and then third season because Fox wanted to make it bigger and badder, but cheaper. Yeah, but essentially we end up losing the character of Arturo first, and then. After Arturo leaves very, very quickly, we lose um, the character of Wade, played by Sabrina Lloyd. Mm -hmm. Um, And we keep uh, Quinn Mallory and Rembrandt Brown for a little bit. And then eventually they... Yeah, and then Rembrandt... Quinn Mallory goes. Yeah. And then Rembrandt's the only one who stays on. It yeah. just it it got really convoluted with these like Cro-Mags who were sliding yeah. as well from universe to universe, again, taking it was, reality. And again, got, it was just another. The premise is there. It leaped to another slide, slide, slide to uh, an alternate universe, and you find out what one thing uh, happened changed. to changed everything. It's I love premises my, like my that. My favorite episode is one of the early ones where they go to a dimension where penicillin has never been discovered, and there's this plague ra- rampaging through the world. And at one point during it, Arturo is just, because, you know, is TV scientists, like we mentioned in the Crime Travel episode. Yeah. TV scientists are all types of they science. They know all. And he's trying to find a cure, and he's standing there in this lab with a load of other people, and he just kind of goes, I don't know why it's impervious to penicillin. And this guy goes, what's penicillin? And he goes, Pen- you don't know what penicillin is. What's penicillin? Get me some mold. <laughs> um, and it's just like he invents penicillin. Of course it, he does. It's a really, really good episode. Yeah. Um, and there's some just brilliant ideas and mm-hmm. concepts within it. There's an episode where where Britain won the wars of independence. That's right. Um, which yeah. is really, really funny. I think, isn't there an episode where the Nazis won the World uh, the World Cup or the World War or whatever you want I, to call it? I think that's the man in the high castle. Um, it's the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, isn't that aren't they the Chromags though? Like, there's yeah. once the Chromags come into it, it all goes completely downhill. Like they basically like there's, they bring in Jerry O'Connell's actual real life brother to play the brother in That's the show right. because, yeah. because Jerry O'Connell's character is actually from a different universe originally, and his it's, parents sent him there to escape the Chromags. It's convoluted. And, and they 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 reason they the way they write them out is they basically merge Quinn Mallory and his brother yeah. into one character played by a completely different actor. Oh, of course it is. Um, I do remember that uh, I remember reading an interview with uh, John Rhys Davies. I had to just get that name there, where he said that the reason he left the show was because when he signed on, he could see the premise and how this show could strive to show things and then the show kind of petered out on that promise and then he just wanted to go which when you have an actor like John Reese davies and he says that to you you know you're done messed up somewhere so Sabrina Lloyd who played um, Wade Wells uh, stopped acting in 2013 what did she do now? I don't know it doesn't say oh Um, well I I thought you were going to tell me something there no No. unfortunately not Um, but yes Sliders was a show with great potential that failed very very quickly while on meeting that potential yeah whereas Quantum Leap kind of was able to chug along until the end with a little bit of a dip I don't 
think to chug along is the right term to use. Quantum Leap and Slaters both had really solid premises. Quantum Leap was just, it had like it, a showrunner that was able to, to hold on to yes. that. Whereas Slaters kind of Didn't. was like, yeah, they're giving us money, so yeah. we're better bow to their wings. I think wings. the second the Chromax come into it in season two, I think is when it yeah, starts. Season two? But Quantum Leap broke its own rule good. in seasons four. It was still good up until Arturo yeah. left, I think. It's, um, just, it's just one of those things. Thank you. It's one. It's just one of those. Oh, here's a quick question for you. Yep. Which would you want to see return now? Would you, if you had the choice between either having a soft reboot of Quantum Leap or a soft or a hard, hard reboot, reboot of, of Sliders, which would you prefer? I think I'll go with Quantum Leap. Same, fine enough, same um, here. As much I, as I, I think, love Sliders. I think Sliders needs a remake. I think yeah. it desperately needs remaking. Yeah. Because um, I think there's a lot of stuff you can do with it, especially now when we have more episodic television. Yeah. I think it lends itself more to episodic storytelling. I mean, look, look um, at what, as, a, as a concept. Yeah, I would say, look at what Doctor Who did. Sorry, serialized yeah. storytelling. Think of, as a concept. Watch what Doctor Who did in like when it was under Russell T Davis. It had like a gigantic overarching story, but every episode is like contained. Yeah. I think you could you do know, that. You could with, easily with, do that with Sliders. Could, yeah, but I, I would rather see Quantum Leap, and I'd rather see mm -hmm. a soft reboot where they essentially get Sam back um, and want, someone else goes off in his place. I want that to happen more than anything else. Even if it was like an hour and a half long TV special. Somebody yeah. to go, get Sam, bring him home yeah. and, and then have somebody continue on that legacy yeah. of doing that. Because you know? Sliders essentially went to pot. Yeah. Whereas Quantum Leap, it, ha it did, it took along a bit. I would say that, I would still say it did, because I think the last two seasons were definitely a bit of a dip in quality. Yeah. But um, I, I think Quantum Leap is one show that deserves let me readdressing. Let me quickly tell you how much I still love Quantum Leap to this day. How much? During lockdown, uh, I went and I wrote some stage productions. I wrote a Quantum Leap fringe show Aww. script. Which I still want to get made because I have the idea in my head and it's it's I think it's a perfect little fan story, but I want to get everything right, so I'd love to get in touch to see if I can use like the 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 not just the character names but the music because the music's a big part of Quantum Leap. That intro music. Hey Donald, if you're listening, please. Please, 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 please. You, we'll, we'll give you a free ticket. I mean, it'll probably be part you of a free a fringe. You know, you, you, you get a comp. You get a we'll comp. reserve you a seat. Yeah, we will. We will. But uh, I think that kind of brings us more or less to the end of it. It does. Um, rest in peace, um, Dean Stockwell. Fantastic. Yeah. I remember him from yeah. so many other things as well. He's brilliant uh, in June. Yeah. You know, he's so many blue velvet. And um, a lot of people mm. dislike it. I think the Langoliers, really good. Oh, TV the series. Langoliers. Yeah, he's great in that. Yeah. But. But. Um, I, think that, I think we've done enough. Yeah. Let's let's slide and leap out of slide here. Slide and leap out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh right. boy. That was a good one. Keep it geeky. Bye for now.